run off the road in a hit and run. This motorcycle riding mom says police added insults to her injuries. It tops our news tonight at 6. When an emergency call goes out, especially at rush hour on a busy road, police and fire just try to get there as quickly as they can. Because seconds save lives. But in the case of a Lincoln Park woman, no one came. She was forced off the road on Dix Toledo right at the I-75 on-ramp. Sean Lay is live and Sean, things went from bad to worse for this motorcycle rider, right? Did they ever? This whole thing started by a distracted driver texting, running this mom off of the road. Police don't show to the accident. Medics don't show. Then she goes to the police department and she's ignored again. Kelly Klein is a mom who lives to ride. The wind on my back, the sun on my face. But she hit the pavement face first last week when a driver ran her off the road during rush hour. My whole face was swollen. Klein is still healing and still furious with Lincoln Park Police and Police Dispatch. The crash was a hit and run. She pulled herself off the pavement and called police for help. Nobody ever came to me. Nobody ever came to me. Kelly watched three Lincoln Park Police cruisers drive right past her, and the emergency dispatcher never asked if she or anyone else was hurt in the crash. Kelly drove her broken bike and bleeding body to the police department where things got worse. I was never asked if I needed medical attention when I was inside the lobby. Police tell us dispatch never told them that Kelly was injured. For their lack of service, Kelly says Lincoln Park Police Chief Raymond Waters apologized to her. I accept it because I'm here and I'm alive today. But on the other hand, what if I wasn't alive? Are you going to apologize to my family because your department didn't re reply, respond to my injuries? Back here live, look, just don't take Kelly's word for it. We went over the police report with Lincoln Park. Line by line, they agree with everything Kelly has to say, but they are blaming Central Dispatch now for not initially telling them or even asking about any potential injuries. This one simply got uh, lost in the shuffle. No one respond. Kimberly Guy, back to you. Now, Sean, the, the texting driver who initially ran Kelly off the road, were they ever found, ever arrested? Police didn't respond, no medics responded, so that gave that person ample time to get away. That driver did pull over. Kelly's on the ground, her bike is tipped over there, but pulled over only to grab her sunglasses, throw them, choice words are exchanged, and then they took off. Mm. Oh, so shame. lucky to be alive, though she is. Yeah. I mean, it could be so much worse. All right, John, we appreciate it.